It's not about the team. We have a mission that's more important than any one of us. We need to find Lotor and stop him. And I plan on doing that right now. We have to keep trying. We may have come here fragmented and disorganized, but the only way we're getting out of here is if we work together. This is our team. Shiro believed in us. We have to believe in ourselves. Who's with me? I've been doing some math. With Shiro back, that makes six paladins. But there are only five lions, and if I'm right, that's one paladin too many. Look, when Shiro takes over the black lion, you're going to want your red lion back. If I get a lion, that means I'd have to take blue from Allura. She's progressed a lot faster than any of us did. She might even be able to unlock powers we don't know of. This isn't a participation game. This is war, and you want your best soldiers on the front lines. I'm not working with them. I'm on your side. My name is Shiro. I'm a paladin of Voltron, but I was captured. I think. I was fighting Zarkon. Please, have you heard of Voltron? The Lions, I need to know. What happened to them? How much time has passed? It's true. I, I took a pod. They fired at me. My pod took a hit. They wouldn't do that if I was friendly. Please, contact the Blade of Marmora or Voltron to verify my identity. My name is not Shiro. Stay back, Altean. That's the last of them. Do you think this plan will work? Do you think the people from the other reality will join the Altaeans? <sighs> I'll be fine. Just got me to Space Hospital. They haven't totally figured out their flatbread situation yet, but what they do with those centipedes is just out of this world. We brought back a few of their leaders to join the coalition. Which brings up a little issue. They all want to see Voltron, only we don't really have Voltron anymore. Welcome, everyone, welcome. I've prepared a few Earth canapes for our distinguished guests to enjoy while we talk galactic diplomacy. I talked to some members of the desert tribes on planet Kithra who have these same large feathered ears. They're not friendly to Zarkon, but they couldn't help me identify the person in the footage, so that's a dead end. Okay, so my brother was either taken by intergalactic fashion pirates, or maybe the outer reaches of these galaxies are occupied by freedom fighters that are starting to work together against the Gaul Empire. My father built Voltron, but he knew Zarkon was a better leader in battle, so he became Voltron's right hand. Lance, when you accepted Keith as the new leader of Voltron, it proved that you value a strong team over your own need for glory. Just like my father. On Altea, we wear this color to honor our fallen warriors. I wear it to honor the paladins of old. And Shiro. The Kabsirians just declared independence after a thousand years of oppression, so they probably won't notice. Remember, Princess, 70% of diplomacy is appearance. Then 29% is manners, decorum, formalities, and chit-chat. It's really only 1%... Uh... Serious business about fighting for the freedom of the universe? Yes, that. I don't think it's a question of wanting to fight back, but of believing that it's possible. It's up to you to give them that faith. My father built our empire on the bones of his enemies. But the, the time, time has, has come, come to change, change the old ways. And inspire not fear from those we rule, but loyalty. We must not waste our energy fighting to keep our subjects down, but rather multiply it by allowing those worthy to rise and join our ranks. The universe can no longer doubt our strength. Each ally gained only makes us stronger, while those who continue to stand against us will be crushed. As for the whereabouts of the Voltron Lions, we've had reports of yellow and blue in the Pagalian Quadrant. The red one has been seen throughout these quadrants, and the green one here, here, and here. The planet is made of dense gases and has unusual magnetic poles that distort and wreak havoc on normal sensors. The area he's in is full of red sentian nitrate, a highly combustible gas that reacts violently to amplified emissions of light. Amazing. Your theory about Voltron was finally proven correct. It's another reality, Ezor. Prince Lotor, that anomaly is registering on our scanners again. Who would know our protocols other than the Galra? I say we turn around and start shooting. You'll never take them all out alone. 
Stop toying with them! Bring the pain! Why isn't he firing? He could be tearing them to shreds right now! Blow him up, Lotor! Oh, this is gonna be good. I was personally hoping to see some more fireworks when it hit that energy swirl. I guess all of the previous attempts to get it out were just more enjoyable to watch. For me, not for your pilots. What's this? Some sort of communicator? You weren't trying to call for help, were you? Prince Lotor would not like that. <laughs> the poor little blade of Marmora's defenses are spread so thin, they cannot defend any of the insurgent planets. What? What happens on Thacerix? Oh, so once the lions are there, they'll be blind. No offense, Narty. Lotor is right on top of the lions. They have no idea. I made them from the quintessence-infused ore of the comet, which provides them with an endless supply of power. The comet alloy also renders them nearly indestructible. This is where things become more interesting. Altae and Alchemy can accomplish some incredible feats of engineering, as you know, but in testing my ship, I started to feel some sort of psychic link. I'm not sure how to explain it, but the ship, it wasn't just reading my mind, it was communicating with me. They seem to be evolving. Zarkon, my scientists have scanned Dibazal. It is fracturing. Hello, Anerva. It's been Decafebes. I'm only worried about the stability of... Is that Kova? How old is he? It's madness. This prolonged exposure to contestants has poisoned your minds. Alfor tried to warn me, but I would not listen. Now my wife has fallen ill and my planet is on the brink of collapse. So I must beg you, my trusted comrades, to join me on a most dangerous quest. We must close the rift, and I need Voltron to do it. I only hope it is not too late to heal the rift in my planet. End our friendship. My fellow Galra, King Olfor of Altea has destroyed our planet. He must pay dearly for his crimes. Rise up and join your Emperor. Revenge will be ours. Well, I spent the last decade sleeping in a spiny thistle thicket. You look wonderful, though, Princess. I'm glad I put on my best harp. Do not worry. It is only Kova. He is from our reality. Isn't it exciting? It could change the way we understand our entire universe. I sent some signals into the neighboring reality, and this creature answered the call. Nothing from our universe has been able to survive the passage through the rift. But somehow, he arrived unharmed. I hope you haven't come to try to shut down my work. There is more hidden knowledge and power in this tiny fissure than you can possibly understand. 28 decafebes old. Shortly after the creatures attacked, he fell ill. But then, I began treating him with quintessence. He revealed the truth to us. Quintessence is so much more than you can understand. It is life itself. Zarkon is fully briefed on all Imperial matters. He certainly doesn't need your input. Lotor has arrived at headquarters at Zarkon's request to take command of the Empire. Under Zarkon's guidance, of course. Zarkon needs no one by his bedside, least of all you. The forces will all fight behind Voltron, right? My people have been enslaved for centuries by soldiers who look exactly like you. The Blade of Marmora has gathered this intelligence. As you can see, the Galra Empire is still the most massive ruling force the universe has ever seen. The sheer size of it is almost incomprehensible. It seems like it could rule another 10,000 years. However, we are beginning to see signs of increased rebel activity from within the Empire. And now Prince Lotor is taking over. We fought by Zarkon's side forever, and now we are passed over by this exiled brat. Worse than that, his top generals aren't even pure Golra. They're half-breeds at best. He has no honor. Clearly he's a dangerous lunatic. I've already spoken with the other officers in my sector. 
They've all agreed to back me if I fight for the throne. I've heard rumors he fights alongside his enlisted men like a lowly private. Some say he allows the planets he conquers to continue to rule themselves. Can you imagine? Who's this little fellow? Lions of Voltron, the people of Puig thank you for delivering us from the evil hands of the Galra Empire. I want to pledge to you that every able-bodied Puigian will join Voltron in the fight against the Galra. Speaking of Voltron, where is it? There's Thacerix. It's a giant gas planet. According to the communications we intercepted, Voltron is there. Or was. Just a shuttle. It's designed to dock with low-orbiting ships, not travel across the universe. Shiro, there just doesn't seem to be any way to get you to Thacerix. The cruiser is currently within range, but it's gonna make a jump to hyperdrive any time now. If he's really who he says he is, then he's got a chance. That's right, we stand against the Gora. We haven't thrown our lot in with them like you have. Look around you. Our food and supplies are limited at this outpost. We have no problem watching you starve until you start telling the truth. You just escaped from a Gora ship, and now you're talking about breaking back onto one? You're crazier than me, and I volunteered to live on an ice planet for five years. Do you really think you'll be able to get to a fighter and make it to Voltron? You know that was our only ship, right? Because we're the only band of scoundrels that would have you. To us! We must come together in formation. What? Why? I do too. What's happening? How did this come about? We will help you. Pull up a bench and join the feast. What sort of weaponry do they have? Yeah! <laughs> These blasted things are covering me! Th thanks, L4! I can't believe we did! Where are we? We must hurry. The creatures have returned. If you've come for the comet, you'd never get it. I'll die before I let it fall into Altian hands. I may be crazy, but you've never rescued me from anything before. Unless you're from an, an alternate, alternate reality. reality. Hira, you and the rest of Altia have turned this universe into an army of slaves. Peace at the sake of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because this is the reality where everything works out fine! We located the second comet based on King Alfor's information. We managed to get it aboard, but it seems to be causing massive disturbances. We're heading back to Altea, but I don't know if we'll be able to make it that far. At this rate... <laughs> That's how you were able to pass through to this reality. Your vehicle was made from the same trans-reality material. With this material... Altea can create their own trans-reality traveling ships. We can spread our peace and stability to all realities. General Hira, I have just stumbled across something in this ship's hold that will ensure Altea's rule for millennia to come. You're right. This Altea is home to a people who made sure that the Galra Scourge was unable to spread across the universe, as it did in your reality. Empress, I assure you, we will do everything in our power to help. The comet in this ship's hold possesses the ability to travel between realities. If you will activate this ancient ship's power, we can fly forward and remove the comet from the tear. We can use it to travel to your universe and bring peace there, even to the Galra.